Hey everybody, this is Chris, and uh, this is a huge, huge question on my channel. It doesn't matter what video I put out. If it's, it doesn't matter what quad I put a video out for. This question will usually pop up in one of those videos. It doesn't need to be a Hubson video. It can be any video. And that just shows the desperation of people trying to find a solution that Hubson does not provide an answer for. Um, if somebody contacts me with this question about these gimbal error codes, I usually have the answer if it's these two error codes. Hubson will run you around and run you around and uh, they know the answer. They have to know the answer because these are very common error codes. These are probably your top two error codes that you will get on a Hubson Zeno, a Hubson Zeno Y, a Hubson Zeno Pro, and a Hubson Zeno Pro Plus. So, if you get these error codes, here is the fix, here's the solution. So, here we have a Zeno Pro, but it's going to be the same for the Zeno, the Zeno Y, Zeno Pro, Zeno Pro Plus. So, for the error code, zero, the gimbal error code, zero X zero zero eight zero. When you turn your quad on, it's going to have life. So when you first turn your quad on and it's working normally, it will go through the calibration, center itself up and find its center home point. If something is off and it, it knows it's just not going to hit that point, then it goes into what's, a, what's called a gimbal fail-safe mode and it just goes limp and it just sits there like this. So if you see on your screen under the, if you go in your app settings and go to gimbal, gimbal status says gimbal error 0080, power on your quad, you turn it off, power it back on, you'll see there's some sort of life there. It'll either start to move and just go right dead, or it will vibrate, or it will shake. That means there's life there. There's just a problem. It needs calibrated. That's all. When you get that gimbal error code, almost every single time, it just needs to have the gimbal calibration tool with the gimbal calibration software. So at the end of this video, you'll see up on the screen a video that will take you to how to do the gimbal calibration. It'll also have a link in that video where you can buy the gimbal, cal gimbal calibration tool. And it'll also have a link where you can download the software to do the process. So that's one, one source that you'll find at the end of this video. There's two more that you're going to find at the end of this video. This video is going to tell you how to fix and where to find the, the, the stuff to fix it. So for 0080, your gimbal should show some sort of life in the beginning when you first power it on. And then it goes completely limp. That doesn't mean you have a broken gimbal at all. It simply just means that it needs to have the gimbal calibration tool. So that should help you out if you have that error. Now, gimbal error <laughs> 0x2000. When you power on your quad, your gimbal does absolutely nothing. It will not move at all. It never moves. It's always dead. Usually you find that happens after a crash. When you get that error code, almost every single time, I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the time, both of these error codes, but on that error code, 0x2000, you have to replace your gimbal cable. That is a failed cable. It could be that it came unplugged from the board, but that is highly unlikely. I work on hundreds of Xenos, and I do this all the time. And I've never found one where the plug has come loose from the board. It's tightly squeezed in there, and it's highly unlikely that it's come undone. So uh, that's not likely going to be your problem. You're going to need to replace the cable. So at the end of this video, I have a video that tells you how to identify what cable yours requires. And I also have a video that will show you how to replace it. 
So everything should be covered just for those two errors if you're watching this video right here. Now, I'm going to say that for gimbal code uh, 80, that's more so going to happen if you put a new gimbal in. Uh, it can happen if you've had a crash. And very rarely does it happen, but it can happen after a firmware update. When you have these types of problems, you need to fix the problem the right way. And throwing firmware at it is not going to fix it. So if you've gone and changed your gimbal and it's shaking like crazy, that's because it's a new gimbal. This quad does not want to accept it right away. It has to be calibrated. Gimbal firmware is not going to fix that. You have to do the gimbal calibration tool. If you've had a crash, your gimbal completely stops working. I can't tell you how many times people say, I crashed, my gimbal stopped working, I've updated the firmware to this version and to this version, uh, I used this gimbal patch. You crash, something broke, you have to go fix it. Firmware, firmware's feelings don't get hurt when you have a crash. <laughs> So firmware doesn't stop working when you have a crash. When you have a crash, something broke and you have to figure out what it is. So you're going to get that error code that says uh, 0x2000. That means replace the cable. So for Xeno, it takes a different cable. For Xeno Y, Pro, and Pro Plus, they all share another type of cable. So that video at the end of this will tell you how to identify which one works for your quad. And you can't go wrong because then you have a video that tells you how to replace it. So I really hope this video helps. And again, shame on Hubson because all you have to do is put this information out there. This, these errors are never, I shouldn't say they're never Hubson's fault because sometimes a new quad comes with these errors. But these errors are not generally Hubson's fault. They're usually pilot error, a crash something has happened or they just don't know what they need to do after they install a new gimbal. So Hubson, you should really put this kind of information out there so people know what the heck to do because I see this question everywhere. It's in my group. I see it in other groups. It pops up on all my videos. So for now on, when I get this question, this is the video link I'm going to share with everybody and hopefully this resolves those two errors. Now I will say, if you have any other type of error, please don't ask, because <laughs> I really, I really do not know them all, and um, I'm just sharing the the two that I see as the most popular. I really think these two error codes are your top two er gimbal error codes you will find with the Xeno models that I mentioned. So, hopefully this helps you guys, and um, it's just. Uh, you know, another little service I'm doing for Hubson, uh, not really for Hubson, for the Hubson, Hubson buyers who just don't get the support they need. Uh, Hubson knows the solution to this. You can contact them and then usually they'll not respond. And if they do respond, they'll run you around for a week or two back and forth in emails instead of just giving you a simple answer. So, um, you know, they want pictures, they want flight log, they want all kinds of stuff that just doesn't matter. If you tell me you have gimbal error code 0. Point, or 0x0080, I'm going to tell you you need to do a gimbal calibration. If you tell me you have gimbal error code 0x2000, I'm going to tell you change your cable. I'm not going to ask you any other questions. I'm going to tell you that. So that's all there is to it. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully this helps you guys uh, browse through my videos. You'll find I cover more Hubson how-tos, solutions, fixes, whatever you want to call them. I will guarantee you more than any YouTube channel in YouTube land. Um, I've got pretty much everything. So if you're having a problem, browse through my videos and check first. And uh, of course, always feel free to ask. And if I have the video, then I'll just send the link. I'll share you the link in your comment. So, uh, but this is just for the error code uh, 0x0080 and 0x2000. But I guarantee you, 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, the solutions I just gave you are going to resolve those issues. And if you have to do the gimbal calibration, 
with the tool and the software. For some reason, some people, I don't know if it's because they're doing it around interference or if they're bumping it or shaking it or just doing it wrong, but they sometimes have to do it a lot of times. I've heard people say they have to do it 10 times, 15 times. I can usually get it the first time every single time. There have been times where I, it's failed and I've, have, I've had to do it again. Uh, and it's usually human error. I've messed up and had to do it again. So pay attention when you're doing it. Watch the video how I do it and do it just like that and you should be fine. Just stay away from interference. Keep it on a flat level surface when you need to have it sitting down in the process. And uh, you should be good to go. So hope that helps. And uh, get out there and solve your gimbal error code problem. And get your quad back up in the sky. And happy flying. Peace and love.